There's a lot of disposable gloves moving out there these days and just wanted to just touch basis and make sure that, you know, people are kind of aware of what's out there. So typically you're going to have, you know, three or four choices. You can have just that cheap lunch lady Ziploc bag glove. Then you can progress into vinyl. Uh, so when we start talking about what we're looking for is we're looking for levels of protection. So when you kind of look at the vinyl, the vinyl is not necessarily, it's going to be the cheapest. I mean, again, the lunch lady, this little uh, subway glove is going to be by far your cheapest, but literally no protection, nothing there. That's usually going to only be used in food processing. When we get into general industry or other safety applications, we're going to kind of start at a vinyl. And a vinyl really gives you no chemical resistance. And a lot of times people don't like it because it's not tight, tight fitting. So when we go to move towards something that's a little bit tighter fitting or kind of hugs the hands, we, we work into nitrile. And so where nitrile gives us uh, some potential chemical resistance, um, again, like I said, it's tighter fit, as we can see that that kind of hugs the hand. Uh, we can get into where we may be able to, to utilize it in medical situations where we need that class one medical device. Uh, also out there is just latex. And latex kind of is a, it's a bummer in that um, it will be, you know, from a price standpoint, it'll be a little bit less than nitrile. But when we talk about latex, it also has kind of a tight fit because, again, it's it's got it's it's a rubber basically, so it's it's uh, going to be very tight fitting. But the problem is, is we get this into certain oils, and it's going to break that down. The biggest down put on latex is that uh, it's just shy of 20%. It's 13 to 20% is kind of the numbers that you see out there where people have a allergy to the protein. And so a lot of times uh, it's you, if you put certain people into it, they will break out in a rash in their hand. And again, you know, it's, this is more of a hypoallergenic and not going to cause any issues there. Depending on a lot of what you got to try to figure out is, am I trying to protect myself from path, known pathogens to where we might need that medical grade? Or maybe I'm just around some light chemicals where I might need a, <clears throat> a nitrile. Maybe I'm just trying to keep my hands from getting dirty to where a vinyl, where I'm not wearing it a lot, I'm just using a task that I, I really don't have a lot of exposure there where I'm able to rip those off and throw those away. So keep in mind that, again, price comes into it. We need to think about what environments we're going to use it on, our potential hazards. And from there, you know, there's a plethora of different uh, dispensers out there to where you can get 50, 100, 150. You can have them individually packed. So there's a lot of choices out there. You know, if you use a lot of disposable gloves, it might be worth having a quick conversation to kind of delve into what different types so that maybe you either lower your cost or you increase uh, the safety capacity of what you're using, utilizing. We'd love to help you with that specifically. So don't hesitate to reach out to us at quadcitysafety.com.